<laughs> we have a van. Van is done ish. We're hesitant to call it done, um, but it's definitely livable and workable right now. So we wanted to talk about some finishing touches things. First thing to talk about is the roof panel. We have finished this. Um, it's not perfect, but for right now it's going to work for us. Uh, basically all we did was take plywood. We used the same scribing technique we used with the subfloor and we covered it in um, some like quilted fabric that has a little bit of a cushion to it because we know we're going to be hitting our heads on it and we spray adhesive put that on and then stapled it we basically upholstered it and then we put it up there with some nails um, put some boards in and knocked it in with some nails uh, it's sagging a little bit already so I think we needed to use either a little bit stronger spray adhesive or um, more spray adhesive but it uh, it's doing the trick We've installed curtains in the front here along the side to cover the windows in the door and along the back to cover the windows in the back. We've used these stainless steel cable um, curtain rods. They're really unobstructive and we could kind of put them in weird places. We actually even made a corner over here um, with just like a D, what do you call it, a D bolt? D ring? A D ring um, in the corner here. So we really only had to use two curtain rods even though we have like three. So all you have to do is just pull it across and this one's held in with just like a little magnetic string holder that we've got going right now. And uh, one of the things we did to take care of some of the minimal storage space that we have is we put some um, of these little bins on the back of the doors that contain water systems, the water tanks. The tanks themselves take up a significant amount of storage space. So we needed to find some solutions in here to keep things organized. Um, we've just got some like dish stuff, toilet paper, Lysol wipes, dirty clothes bag. Uh, we got a sweeper and that kind of stuff up in here too. But these bins are helping kind of keep things organized and up off the floor. And then we can use the floor for um, some miscellaneous stuff later on if we need to. We initially did not put shelves in the tall shelf. Um, the reason for that is because we wanted to kind of see how we were gonna use this. After our first trip, we had a better idea of what kind of storage solutions we needed. So we um, did install shelves and I will say that we made sure that these top two shelves are the height of a standard US can. So you can at least fit a can on these shelves. Um, right now they've got some bins up top has our dishes. Um, there's really limited dishes in here, mostly because there's only the two of us and we don't have any other seats. So it's always just gonna kind of be the two of us. Some other kind of little plastic bins that are really great and easy to clean. We use these on the boat, so we thought they'd be a great addition to the van as well. I know like what will fit in them um, in terms of food, this kind of stuff. These ones are great for um, like taco seasoning packets and that kind of stuff, um, spices and everything kind of like, we have one like this, just this size on the boat and that's kind of where all that stuff lives. Um, and it fits nicely on this shelf as well. We go, right now we have this little um, utensil tray, but that probably solution is gonna be more on the wall eventually, but for right now it's there. And then we've got these bigger bins for things like towels, um, chips, bread, that kind of stuff as well. Stove top, I opened it upside down, but stove, um, countertop, stove. So, um, single burner, we don't need anything more than that. So we'll just need to get a few pots and pans to come in here. And when we built the shelf height, we made sure we knew how big this was to be able to accommodate for it. Um, the other thing that we know will fit on these three, one of these three shelves is our Instapots. We did not originally plan any sort of built-in seating in the van. We just didn't have space. So we kind of accidentally fell into these ottomans. Um, I had bought them for our patio here at the house. Um, I went and grabbed them for something we were filming because we were getting tired of sitting on the floor. And lo and behold, they fit perfectly. Like they were like built for it. And for whatever reason, apparently my color aesthetic is the same all the time. 
uh, so they fit the colors perfectly as well. Um, and they're comfortable, so we're gonna use them. They slide right under the bed, um, and they're indoor-outdoor fabric, so we can use them outside the van as well. We wanted to have closed storage solutions, under bed solutions, uh, that would allow us to have it be removable. If we needed to use the van for something like plywood, or even if Andy wanted to like put his skis in here for like a ski trip, we needed something that was a little bit more flexible. So we kind of found a solution in that with um, these awesome little target boxes. They're buildable, they're break downable. So if we ever needed to actually just like completely collapse them, we can. Um, we just zip tied them together to kind of make a drawer system. We each have one, this one's Andy's, the light blue one is mine. We've made another drawer that kind of just slides in and sits on top um, so that you can put like shirts down at the bottom, um, underwear, bras, swimsuits, that kind of stuff in the bin in the top. Um, and it just sits in there nicely. And it's a really nice, quick, easy, relatively inexpensive solution. We probably could have done it for cheaper, but um, we went with the slightly nicer boxes just because we got more space out of them. When it came to trimming the van, so the corners, the back ends here, uh, we wanted to find something that took up as little space as possible was lightweight and was removable in case we needed to access any of the wiring behind it. Uh, plywood was not gonna meet that need. We were tossing around ideas one day and eventually we came up with these cloth covers that we ended up using. And we used magnets so that you can actually pop them down and get to any of the wiring behind and then quickly just pop it back up in place and it covers very easily. And it also gave us like a little pop of color in the corners from like a like interior design perspective. Um, but they're super, super easy to pull back and put back in place. In terms of how these were made, uh, basically we just measured and cut to width and length. Uh, we cut as few tubes as possible just to try to cut down on the overlap bits of it. Uh, Andy hemmed a little edge on all of them. And then we basically just slid magnets into that hem and then they just pop up in. In terms of the bed, uh, we bought a eight inch memory foam queen short RV mattress. It is ridiculously comfortable. It was really inexpensive. We'll link it below. Um, and one of the other beauties of it is because it's a standard a standard size RV mattress, um, you can actually buy sheets that don't need to be custom fit. So we did queen short sheets for it and we did a standard queen comforter. Uh, the comforter is just a little bit extra long, which is not a problem for those cold nights um, when you wanna kinda snuggle in. I know at the beginning of this, I said that the van is finished, but I probably lied because things with projects like this are never finished. We have some upcoming projects that we'll probably do in the next few months. So if you haven't already, you might wanna subscribe if you're interested in the fact that we're probably planning on a heater of some sort, probably a small diesel heater. Stalling, probably as soon as we finish this, our uh, lagoon table leg, that's um, mounted table leg that's like removable. And we're also gonna be replacing the seats up front. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button or give us a like. If you have any questions on how we decided on anything to do with the van, please leave us a comment below.